On November 6th of 2023, OpenAI hosted Dev Day, which announced the latest release of their products. One of the big things that came out of Dev Day was custom GPTs. This was where you're able to create and customize chat GPT for a specific use case. Basically, like creating your own assistant that can carry out tasks for you. Anyone can easily build their own GPT with no coding needed. Now, you can make them for yourself, for your company's internal use, or share it with anyone. But the thing was is that many people wanted to access this, but they couldn't as they actually needed to have ChatGPT Plus to access this feature. This left people fading the use of this amazing tech because many did not have the funds to use it. Well, guess what? Hugging Face introduced an alternative just recently that is completely for free and very similar to custom GPT from OpenAI. Introducing Hugging Face Assistants. Assistants are a cool way to create your own custom GPT that is your personal assistant. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, just take a look at this example where I'm going to be using this custom GPT that was created with Hugging Face Assistance. And this is where I'm going to be using this website designed GPT, designer GPT, which will help me create a landing page. So I can simply just click on this and I can start chatting with it right away. So now I'm going to ask it to basically help me create a landing page for my consulting page. So I'm going to ask it, please create me a landing page page for my consulting business and I'm going to click enter and it's going to start laying out the things that are going to be needed for me to create this. So in this case, once that is fully finished writing the code, I'll be right back. Looks like it has finished generating the code and it had basically requested me to copy this code and go over to Tailwind. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to place the code and this way we're going to get the output. So I'm going to place it over and look at that. We have a full landing page generated within a couple of seconds, guys. It's easy as that. Coding as well as many other things are getting easier from free sources like Hugging Face. And this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. Now, one of the great things I want to point out is that the thing that differentiates this from OpenAI's custom GPT model is that not I know it's completely for free, but one thing that you can do is that you can select models like Mixtro, Llama 2, Open Chat that is completely for free within Augean Face and create these custom GPTs uh, allocated to those open source models. This is something that you can't do with chat GPTs, custom GPTs, because you're only allowed to use OpenAI's models. This is giving you more flexibility and allows you to create different ranges of GPTs in various other categories. So throughout today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this further in detail as we explore a Hugging Face Assistance. We're also going to showcase its capabilities and features, how you can create your own GPT and so much more. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Hugging Face Assistance, which is a new exciting feature that Hugging Chat had just recently released. This allows you to create and share different prompts as well as working on creating your own custom GPT. This is by selecting your own model, providing it a name, and even setting a system prompt for it. This allows users to easily generate your own assistant in a way. Now these assistants can leverage open source models, which is something that puts it, like which makes it different from custom GPT from OpenAI. It offers more flexibility and you're able to choose among six available options. Now this is something that we're gonna take a look at throughout today's video. So stay tuned and let's get straight to it. 
But now, one of the cool things I want to point out is that this is something that is publicly shareable, but they also have a couple of things that are going to be coming fairly soon. You're going to be able to add RAG within your custom GPTs. You're going to be able to enable it to have web searching capabilities, as well as generating assistant thumbnails with AI. This is going to be quite useful for a lot of people as this is completely free and you can do a lot with it. And it's something that I truly recommend you check out throughout today after, we watch, after you watch this video, because this is something that I would actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now on their blog post, they have stated a couple of things that they're going to be adding in the future, which is really great to see guys, because this is something that ChatGPT doesn't even have. Now just to add on, I wanted to basically emphasize on something that they're thinking about, which is function calling. And this feature would basically enable anyone to define custom functions along with corresponding REST endpoints. This is going to be something that will allow assistants to execute these functions based off of your own request that you give it from the prompts, obviously. And this is where you can provide a function calling schema and it can be configuring the REST endpoints on its own so that you could basically seamlessly integrate this into your own functionality and have it so that the assistance capabilities are expanding its ranges of tasks and actions. Another cool thing that I was thinking about is that if they are to add RAG, this would be something that would allow you to upload different ranges of files, text files, PDFs, URLs, and so much more. And this is where it could be chunked into different vector databases. And this would help the RAG when it's working with different assistants. Now, this is something that I definitely will be keeping an eye out because this is truly amazing as to what they have developed because it's completely for free and it gives you a lot more options than ChatGPT's custom GPTs. So let's just get started. So how can you actually access this? Well, you need to go to the huggingface.co slash chat slash assistant website. And this is something that I'll also link in the description below. You can select from different options. So at this current moment, I stated that you can only select from these current options. They have assistance with open chat, which is a really great model. You can create model or assistance with Mistral 7B, Code Llama, News Research, which is the News Hermes Mistral model. You have Llama 2 70B as well as Mixtral, which is the MOE model. Now, this is something that all of these models are basically on par in certain cases with ChatGPT's GPT-4 model. And you would basically get the same like output as you would with GPT, not the same, like on the same level, but it's still useful and it's still, I believe, on the same par as GPT-4's responses. So you can basically get started by selecting the ones that, selecting the assistants that are created by the community. This is where you can select most of these options that can help you out. And there's multiple different ranges of assistants in basically every category. But say if you wanna create your own, you can then go over and click on new, create new assistant. This is where you can select whatever model that you want for your assistant. So if you want something related to coding, you can select the Code Llama model. So you can just simply just click on create new assistant rather than clicking on the model. Because if you click on the model, you can then activate it and then set the system prompt. But in this case, you can just create a new assistant, select the base model over here, and this will allow you to start creating this assistant. I'm going to name it something random. So in this case, world of AI coding assistant, and I'm going to give it a description that this is a chat bot that will help me with Help me with Python, JavaScript, C++, and HTML. And you can obviously edit it afterwards if you want. And then you can even input a start image or start message, which will basically respond to you when you first start up the assistant. You can even add different instructions. And in this case, I'm just going to leave it as that. And then I'm going to click create. Okay, but I think I need to add an instruction. So I'm going to set this and I'll be right back. So I went along and created this instruction where I stated that you are a GPT assistant tailored to provide assistance with Python, JavaScript, C++, C++, and HTML. 
Ensure the prompt is welcoming and indicates the bot's capabilities in helping users with the programming languages. The prompt should invite users to seek guidance, ask questions, or request assistance regarding to coding, debugging, or learning resources. Aim for clarity and friendliness to encourage user engagement and interaction. So I'm going to have this set and then I'm going to click create. And there we go. We have our coding assistant created. And what you can do now is go over by closing this and you can have it start like you can have it so that you can start playing around with this so i'm going to activate it first and then i'm going to click this click over here world of ai so this will show you all the systems that you have created and then you can start chatting with it right away so this way i'm going to then start chatting with this one and i'm going to ask it random things so let me just ask it something and then have it generate it so i actually deliberately gave it a bug and I'm asking it to basically fix this Python script. And this is where the bug in the script is the input. Uh, and I basically wanted to have it so that the function returns a string. And we can see that it does a great job actually fixing it. And it gives you the response within a couple of seconds. You can do a lot more with the other GPTs related to code. So if you want to play around with it, I truly recommend you check it out because there's different variations of assistance that you can definitely use. Now I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. And I truly hope that you got some sort of value out of it and that you can definitely use the Hugging Face assistance to help you create your own GPT. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this this video make sure you check out the patreon page if you want to access amazing subscriptions as well as different consulting networking opportunities make sure you follow us on twitter if you guys haven't already so stay so you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai videos but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas